Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. One Piece chapter 1061 is unofficially out. If you haven't already, make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe. And bruh, this one is crazy. Let's get straight into it. Hey, listen. So we pick up where we left off in the last chapter. We saw that the Straw Hats were at sea. They got in front of like a maelstrom and Zoro decided to cut the maelstrom to save a person. Well, that person turned out to be Drew Bonnie. In this, we see that Luffy, while saving Chopper, ends up saving Bonnie as well. But before they even get a chance to celebrate or to find out who Bonnie is, they realize this giant shark pops up underneath the sun. It's starting to surface, and when I say this thing is giant, this thing is massive it almost swallows the sunny if it wasn't for quick thinking by frankie and jimbe the sunny would have gotten swallowed whole as the sunny dodges we see that it says punk on the side of the shark that's basically a dead giveaway that this is a mechanical shark probably made by dr vegapunk which is exactly what zoro says he's like but this thing is way too big to be a regular shark and it's made out of metal jimbe then realizes luffy bonnie chopper they fell into the sea and for devil fruit users this is a big no-no so at this point frankie springs into action he's gonna go try to save him but the shark isn't done the shark then fires torpedoes at the sunny yes this shark's got actual weapons and it hits the sunny dead on it man if the sunny wasn't made out of atom wood and frankie wasn't such a good shipwright i'm sure the sunny would have been toast by now because the punishment that has been taken from whole cake island to wano to this yo the sunny is absolutely insane i digress at this point jimbei springs into action he jumps in the water and he's making an attempt to save luffy he just about gets to them when the shark goes to attack them again yo the shark is relentless luffy at this point being underwater is still able to use his observation hockey to know that there was an explosion on the surface so just to let you know ever since wano that's a thing now so i would if you could address that that would be awesome so the shark actually circles back around for another attack it fires another set of missiles and this time it hits the sunny it actually makes the sunny capsize and jimbei's like yo everybody hold your breath we're going under so the sunny is now capsized and underwater with the entire straw hat crew everybody's underwater brook zoro sanji everybody devil fruit users and non-devil fruit users alike and the shark is gearing up for another Another attack and you can tell it's really like getting off on this it's really enjoying this carnage but a mech appears behind the shark and it kind of looks like general frankie except that it has vega force one written on its right side and boy i tell you this is oda basically confirming this is dr vega punk incoming like it's not even a question but the mech punches the shark basically in the gut and basically one shots the shark from here we actually cut to a familiar face in tashigi we haven't seen tashigi since punk hazard she's on the g14 naval base and we actually see that she's still treating the kids that Caesar was experimenting on on Punk Hazard with a giant typification, she's still basically trying to heal them. She's giving them medicine and it seems to be working. And we actually get introduced to a new character here the Vice Admiral and Commander of the G14 Headquarters, Doll. And she approaches the Shigi saying, Hey, yo, this, this guy, Helmeppo, he's kind of a pest. He's here. He's crying. He's asking us for help. To where we cut to Helmeppo now, we see Helmeppo is sobbing. And and begging he's on the floor with his commander from navy hq hibari who is also new as well i believe and here we get introduced to a bunch of new characters namely the navy hq rear admiral of sword prince group i'm not really sure how the rear admiral thing works anymore i know drake I, I guess i always thought drake was still a rear admiral of sword in a way but i guess not maybe he's just a captain of sword but we're getting introduced to a lot of sword affiliated characters here but anyways helmeppo's making his case to them 
saying, hey, y'all, we have to do something. Kobe got kidnapped by Blackbeard. And they're telling him, listen, there's really not much we can do. If he took Kobe back to Hachinosu, we can't just go in there and start raising havoc in Hachinosu. We're going to get swarmed by all these pirates. To which Helmepo responds, but Egghead is so close. Why can't we just deploy a Seraphim? You know, those miniature versions of the Warlords, those death machines that you introduced in the last chapter. Yeah, why can't we just send one of them? Prince Groose then responds, all right, you guys, <laughs> you need to calm down. Let's let's not get crazy. We can't get in contact with Drake either. Like right now, there's nothing that's clear. There's no clear path forward. From here, we cut back to the Straw Hats and we realize Jinbei was able to actually save them and they all washed up into a cave somewhere on a random island. Bonnie's basically saying thank you for saving me, but just to let you know, we're still enemies, right? So just know that the energy is not really changing. She's basically acknowledging like, yo, like I can't believe Luffy's an emperor now. You even got Jinbei on the squad too. Like, yo, like this is crazy. I thought your hair was white. Look how far you've come. I mean, you were the guys I had to save when Zoro almost cut Prince Charlo's back in Sabaody. Like, and I guess all this reminiscence missing makes bonnie hungry we know that bonnie has an insatiable appetite and luffy's like yo i'm hungry too let's go find food to which bonnie responds yo y'all are idiots you're not gonna find any food here don't you know where we are of course the straw hats have no idea where we are the straw hats barely ever have an idea as to where they are but bonnie tells us here we're actually on Egghead Island. This is a government island that's apparently said to be 500 years in the future. And Dr. Vegapunk's lab is based off of Egghead Island. Yo, this is the reason why Bonnie's here. And I don't know why I got so shook when I read this, but all I could think of was Emmy's Lobby, Impel Down, Marine Ford, all three government facilities that Luffy broke in and out of without getting caught. Seems like it's about to be the fourth, that's all I'm saying. But anyways, from here we get a cut to the giant neck that is now holding the Sunny and walking it. And the other half of the Straw Hat crew is just like, damn, like, what situation are we in now? We see the front of the mech open, and there's a woman inside. And she's saying, oh, man, that was another failure. She's talking about the shark here. Frankie interrupts her and says, thank you for saving us. You know, Frankie's pretty much blown away because he sees a hot woman walking out of a mech. This is like Frankie's fantasy, right? But she actually chuckles and says, I actually made that shark to scout, report, and fire at you. It's only a failure because it keeps trying to eat ships and it keeps trying to do its own thing. And she's like, wait a second, did you think that I saved you? And she's like, oh yeah, you guys are really naive pirates. I actually work for the government despite how mediocre my machines are. They like to call me their scientific genius. You can call me Dr. Vega. Punk, yo, this is not how I was expecting Oda to introduce Vegapunk at all. Not only is she not an old man, which we've always heard Vegapunk referenced as an old man, right? We've never heard him introduced as a young woman, but it seems like with all the weird, like, ambiguity with Vegapunk kind of playing both sides of the Marines or maybe even just having his own agenda. It seems like Vegapunk really works for the military here, guys. Like, it seems like maybe this half of the Straw Hat crew, they might get taken in and Luffy's gonna have to raise all kinds of hell on Egghead Island in order to at least stop his other half of his crew from being taken in. But let me know what you think below. We're on break next week, so I'm going to try to turn out some videos. Put what you think about this chapter in the comment section. I'm giving this chapter a 9 out of 10. Yo, we got Vegapunk this chapter. Vegapunk. Oda is going absolutely insane, and he's breaking the fan base with almost every chapter he comes out with. So we need this break. Trust me, we need it. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. Put your comment down below. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe subscribe stay safe stay healthy this has been see through that guy and of course i will catch you guys next time peace